Hey guys, this is Tyranny, and this is Caffeine Gaming. Um, so, <laughs> first of all, this is hilarious. Uh, this is actually I the big it. head portion of the um, game, so you can actually go in here and turn this off. It's actually not a constant thing. You can actually go ahead and flick it off, and people will be normal. But I just thought I'd show that off, that yes, there's big heads that uh, you can do. Um, so one of the things that's uh, going on right now that this is like a new game it was just released um, and I wanted to kind of show it off. I'm further in the game, uh, not terribly far in the game, but I am further in the game. Um, I'm not going to show off too much about like the game mechanics. Uh, I just want to kind of show off the game. So this game reminds me of like Diablo or uh, I'm trying to think. Who else this game is who this really reminds me of? Um, On it. Maybe like KOTOR kind of a little bit. Uh, kind of makes me, kind of reminds me of like a lot of those games. Um, because it's kind of, well first of all you can see it's a three, or it's like an isometric game. It's as far as I can tell. Let's see here, does this take me to the map? I think this takes me to the map. And, uh, so the whole point of this game is essentially the overlord uh, sends you off so you're a, um, it'll take you two hours to complete your journey. Uh, the overlord sends you to, ooh, uh, path is blocked by some enemies. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. The overlord sends you to go solve some problems. Uh, you are the bad guy and that's what we're gonna be doing. All right. Hey look, some, some bad guys. That's far enough, Fatebinder. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of flip through this, um, but you can uh, pause and at least read a little bit of it if you would like. One of the cool things about this game, I'm gonna go ahead and show this real quick, is if you hover over some things, it'll actually give you additional details, uh, lore and stuff about the game. There's a lot in here um, that actually explains things. So if you're lost and confused, it'll actually help. Uh, let me go ahead and get through this and I'll show you the combat. Well, that ended a little bit differently than I expected. Um, actually, it, um, ooh, we actually had some loot. Fantastic, let's take that. Um, what ended up happening actually was we talked it out and that ended that. Ooh, there's a bad guy down here. There's some, there's like some deer of some sort. I'm collecting items. I don't know what I'm going to need, obviously. Um, so one of the things though is for this game, you have a certain amount of days until the game is basically over. Uh, <laughs> and you're trying to bring about actually like, you know, doing all the things that you should do. And it, like I said, it reminds me, oh, cancel that. Let's go here first. Uh, it definitely reminds me of a lot of um, Obsidian's other games that I've seen them do. Slightly reminds me, I think it's of Dragon Age where you use the map, like as you just saw. So it's pretty nice. Uh, I kind of like it. I wanted to show, like I said, I wanted to show this off because it is a newer game. I would like to show some combat off, but that may not be happening today. You can pick up a variety of items. Um, it's pretty cool. We got talent points apparently. Uh, I don't know too much about this. I'm not going to save this. Um, but. Ooh, it's got like a bunch of different, huh, things that you can learn. Well, that's really cool. Uh, we got some quests, your attribute points, and it looks like from what I understand, just kind of like looking at this, you can actually, um, so you can actually level up as you use your stuff. So it's a little different than some other things. I'm going to skip a little bit ahead and see if I can get to a battle so I can show that off for you guys. Now the reason I'm showing this off as I do for most games that are first impression, uh, it's just a matter of showing you guys off some of the gameplay so that you can make a determination if you actually want to pick a game up or not. You can zoom in. All right, looks like... Okay, um, moving on a little bit. There's a lot of conversation in this game that I've noticed and one of the big things that I've kind of seen go on is conversation can go multiple different directions. 
And the nice thing about that is you do have to decide what you're going to do. And sometimes uh, the options that you have Ooh. may not be what have you really here. want. Oh, I see. Subterfuse. Can I... Spotted something. I can actually de-arm traps, it looks like. And now we have some enemies. So, uh, you have a, this is a real-time game, but you do have uh, time-based portions of it. You can see I can pause the game. So, the other thing I can do... Let's go ahead and move forward we'll do. and see if we Look can at that. take these guys out. Uh, you have a variety of different things that you get. Uh, let's go ahead and use Flurry. Oh, let's actually not lose Flurry. Let's use Heart Shot um, on this guy. Sorry, Zoom in a little bit here so you can actually see what's going on. So as you can see, uh, if I pause here, you can actually see uh, the amount of damage people have done. You can see your HP each side. Let's see. Um, uh, the uh, <laughs> This is something that's going on right now. I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, but it's you get different bonuses. Uh, there's different stances. Oh, she's dead. Now, there we go. You do heal a little bit over time from just kind of existing from what I've seen. So you can see her hit points are starting to increase. Again, very slowly. Uh, I don't think it'll max out, but it does increase to a, at least relatively good level. Oh, hers is going to increase all the way. Fantastic. Sorry, I can't. No, get over here. I don't know how to push this back in, believe it or not. There we go. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's actually check some stuff here. You, there's like a variety of things. We've got this little hourglass on it. Battle is easy. Can't um, do that. For now, <laughs> uh, we haven't faced any bosses or anything like that. We've just been largely defeating, um, you know, minor enemies. This is the bridge that was destroyed. We're definitely going to have to like go around or something like that. Uh, you can talk to people. You can talk to your allies. Uh, let's go up here real quick. Um, so you can see a lot of people that you, you just sit here. They'll just, you know, say a variety of different things. It'll pop up and you won't actually talk to them. Other ones you'll actually go into full conversation with. Um, which is pretty cool too. So it looks like there's nothing much down there to get. And the big thing is right now we have eight days until we lose and every action you do uh, on the map actually takes time so you will lose some of those days. I don't know if we can get across this. We're gonna die. Oh look, we got across. Oh, we didn't get across. Okay, well that conversation went literally nowhere. And we can't cross. Now, one of the things that comes up in conversation quite often is if you have certain requirements, you may be able to say certain things. Uh, if you have a certain lore, if you have a certain background, things like that. So I'm going to go report this. I'll be right back. All right. Looks like we did pretty well there. So let's go ahead and see if we can cross this. Let's see here. We can go ahead and cross. Looks like all of our folks are together now, so that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a second battle here. All right. I actually have... That's not good. Let's see if we can take that guy out. I actually have um, expertise in bows, and dual wielding is actually my second um, option. Let's see here. So you can see I'll actually pull out my weapons um, and actually do some pretty good damage. I also have Searing Pain, which, believe it or not, hurts the enemy quite a bit. Uh, can we target? Get, on, get in on the battle here. Now my guy is taking some damage. We do have healing potions. Um, so that's good too. It definitely helps. 
Ooh, we got a sage's hood and some weapons, so that's pretty cool. You got it. Let's uh, get all my guys moving a little bit. Looks like we've got insidey area. Kairos's butchers have come! Flee! Oh, they're getting out of there apparently. Hello. Awesome. So you can see here, I chose an option, and one of my the soldiers actually uh, fled, um, which is actually good for us because that gives us fewer people that we have to worry about. Let's see if we can. So the um, heart shot that I've actually been using actually makes them bleed, so they lose health. So that's good. Now, I'm not actually giving my allies any suggestions. I'm just letting the AI actually take care. Uh, looks like I've taken some damage. Let me go ahead and heal myself here. Uh, dodge, parry, bows. You can see all of the things that are increasing. Let's see if we can... Oh, that's not good. Let's see if we can actually heal again. We're getting kind of owned by some of the long-range folks. Ooh, ow. It's really not good. We're taking quite a bit of damage here. Are you even doing anything? There we go. Come on. There is a cooldown for each attack. You can actually see it. There we go. And we'll heal from that. I'm not too worried. But yeah, that kind of didn't uh, didn't feel very good, did it? Let's go ahead and open up the bridge there. Let's go ahead and raid some of this stuff. Okay. Let's see what they have to say. Um... Alright, so let's go ahead and check out the area and pick up some stuff if we can. Uh, if there's a, an item that is in purple, that means it is a hidden item. And we can actually open those up if we want. And it looks like there's not much else here. Everybody ran, we can't actually get up there. So we will have to move on to the next location. So, because I don't really know, I haven't played enough of this to know exactly where the story leads us. Um, but I have a feeling some of this has to do with, you know, things are going to change. We're going to, you know, succeed and, um, you know, it's not going to just be like we have eight days and that's it. Uh, but I don't really know. Hey guys, how's They're it going? Here. Run! Go now! Let's actually take care of some people. No. That did not feel good. Her. Let them- ow! That also did not feel good. Go ahead and take I got it. this guy out. Battle's pretty interesting. It's not, like, super involved. You can move your guys around yeah. during battle. Uh, largely that hasn't been necessary. Ooh, one of my guys leveled up. Fantastic. And now we can raid the area. So, that's pretty much it when it comes to- I mean, as of right now, that's pretty much all I've seen when it comes to gameplay. Um, item-wise, you have a tendency- you see, we have some stuff here, but you can kind of see party stash-wise, uh, what we've got. And you can actually, you know, equip a variety of different people. So let's see here. Oh, we got this really cool Sage's helm. Let's see. Oh, he's actually fused together. Uh, something about his soul? I don't really know. It wasn't something I paid too much attention to. But you can actually look here. The comment, the item on the left will show what they currently have equipped. And on the right, you can see what it actually will change to. So like this one, um, looks like it's not as good. So probably end up selling those. We've got some leather gauntlets here with some light leather gauntlets on the right. Let's see. The right ones have better deflection and precision. 
Uh, so we probably, let's go ahead and equip that. And these gauntlets are only for her, so that's, you know, kind of a requirement. Variety of armor will pop up here. This one, actually, you can see the bonuses uh, and the negatives there. We picked up a few other items, it looks like. Some heavy gauntlets. And you can check between your folks and see what, you know, you've got and what you can replace it with. And it looks like for the most part we're okay as currently is, that we, as we currently are. Um, additionally, you can see all the different food items. Uh, you can actually equip these. Hmm. And you've also got uh, sigils that you can use and actually learn. So there's a lot going on there. Um, I did not level up. But you can go in here and spend your points. You've got your common stuff, might, quickness, wits, f uh, finesse, uh, vitality, and resolve. Uh, each one does different things. And you can actually see below uh, the if you're if you look down here, which ones use what are highlighted. So that's actually really cool. So you can actually see all of that sort of thing. So for example, she uses two uh, swords. So you're going to want to focus on things that allow her to dual wield. And in this case, it's a uh, finesse and quickness. So you'll want to increase those over time. And your character is set up at the beginning. You set them up. And then these guys that you bring on are party members um, that, you know, they do their own thing and to start with and then you get to decide and obviously of course like i said you get to decide what type of you know increase that you have and there's a whole bunch of different ones it's actually pretty cool to see this this reminds me so much of uh, you know like diablo i've been playing a lot of uh, divinity recently and it just it all fits together and i'm trying not to get too involved in this game because I do want to finish um, Divinity first. I'm, I don't know how far I am in that game, but uh, I don't know. I do have been enjoying this. So if you have been thinking about picking this up, um, you know, I don't really know how the story is going. I don't know anything the like that. Guard can't protect us. We must go. Good thing I keep a torsion wrench handy. <laughs> and yes, you can break into things and steal things uh, if you really want to. So subterfuge, yeah, that definitely happens. We oh, we got a trap here. I've got pretty good subterfuge, so um, I can actually see traps and that kind of stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to show this off so you guys could, if you were thinking of getting it, uh, have a better idea of what the gameplay would look like. Uh, the game actually starts out with a very long, convoluted um, starting system, essentially, where they're kind of like, hey, you know, here's... Let's go ahead and start undoing that. And let's take this guy out. Ow! Can you not do that? He's not in my circle. Can't do that. Right. Let's see if I can. We just absorb we avoided the traps, so that's good. Ow, can you not root me? Because that really sucks. I would suggest buying this game. I've had a good time with it. I haven't played too much. The story and lore seem pretty deep, uh, in all honesty. So I've, you know, I, I like that. Um, you see that? Yeah, I do see that. Let's pick that up. What is that? Ooh, more armor. Fantastic. Um, I don't know too much more about it, but the lore has been deep. Uh, there's been a lot of, you know, like go here, do that type of thing. I don't really know what impact on the story I'm having, but it seems like every decision makes a difference. There is Can't a do that. there is a favor type thing where you gain loyalty depending on what you do or you lose people. Carlos, the soldiers are here. Um, you know, and certain things will open up if you are more friendly with people. You'll learn you can be able to learn more from them. So that's actually really cool. I'm going to go into conversation, it looks like, again. <laughs> and it looks like bad things happened here. We've got, uh... 
variety of different things happening. So let's go ahead and just, this will be the last battle that I show off. Not dead yet. Uh, let's go ahead and do flurry of blows on this guy. <laughs> Bleed out, you little shit. <laughs> a lot of swearing in this game, which actually kind of makes sense. Given, let's see if I can use that let's on that. Do it, you and me. Uh, this. There's another thing that you can actually do. You can actually do uh, combined attacks uh, with your party. Oh, don't move. I lied. Stop with that. Uh, let's do searing pain and see what that looks like. Ow! My face. Do you mind? This guy is really irking the crap out of me. I don't think I got that on him. If you go down, you'll get back up at the end of battle, so don't worry too much. Let's see if we can take this guy off. Come on, pick him off. Yeah, I see that. Oh, and I went down. I'm not dead though, so just give me a second and I'm back up again and I will heal in a second. So yeah, I think that's, I oh, don't think. Um, I think that's pretty cool how you actually can do that. That is actually locked. You can't open that, but I think our other person can. Yes, we can. Got some settlers over here. Yeah, we take what we just want. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this. If you are definitely interested in this, that doesn't look good. She just ran off. Um, you know, if it looks like a game that you would enjoy, like I said, it reminds me very much of kind of like a Neverwinter Nights um, type game. That's you know, definitely what it reminds me of. So ooh, let's see if we get a battling in here. Trouble is afoot. Trouble is afoot. Yes, it is. Let's see if we can take her out. Go ahead and see if we can take her out first. I think she's probably the biggest problem. I think I am right on that. Let's see, what else do we got here that we could possibly use? I'm not dead, not dead yet, but we're getting there. Go ahead and shoot that guy. Now, I am getting owned a little bit. Let's see here. Oh, I'm down. That's not good news for us. Let's see, what else we got here? You can see that my allies are using their stuff. I've got the AI on, so they will do the attacks that they feel are necessary, which is actually really good. Actually, he can level up. That's pretty good. You will. Someone staunch my blade. Hmm. I might lose this battle. I'm going down. Yeah, it looks like I might go down. Go ahead and do that. He's on fire. What a terrible day for you. I'll tear your skeleton out by your ass. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, running away was probably the best thing I could have done here. I've got a few more enemies up here that I actually do need to take care of. This allows me a chance to back off and actually recover a little bit. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. Well, maybe if you didn't suck. <laughs> and unfortunately, well, actually, maybe fortunately, I probably won't keep this because I don't really know too much about 
uh, you know, what I'm doing when it comes to strategy wise. I was going to spend a little time, you know, reading about things. So we got one guy left here. Heal. That'll definitely be helpful. Hope you fancy red. All right, that person is on fire. I like how she just like casually walks over there. Like it's fine. Looks like we're doing all right against them. We do have a poison that we can also use. Um, where did they go? You got it. Ah, they were stunned and they chose to. Miss. That works for me. Here, be on fire again. Actually, that burning attack works really well. And it looks like we're all back up again. And we've won the battle. So, we won the battle. Uh, not so much the war, but we won the battle. Um, and we basically... Well, we gave it to one of the two sects and basically said go do whatever you want with it. Uh, depending on what you do, you basically give people um, either, like there's two different sects. There's, you know, this guy and that guy essentially. There's the two different ones. And depending on what you do may or may not favor certain people. Let's uh, loot them. So that's pretty cool to, to see this. And I think we basically told her that she's, <laughs> she's going to be taken away in chains. Um, and I'm not entirely sure, but from what I understand, what you do kind of affects the rest of the game. So it's pretty cool to see some of that. So if you, like, think you might enjoy this game, I would suggest picking it up. Um, it looks like it's going to be well worth the money. I haven't quite finished the game, obviously. I haven't really put that much time into it, but it looks like, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed what I've seen so far. Uh, it feels kind of good to be on the bad guy side for once and, like, actively trying to be bad. Um, you know, I haven't been nice to anybody and it kind of feels pretty cool. So, uh, that's, that's another thing. So, ooh, you actually break into this guy's house. Sweet. Anyway, well, if you enjoyed this, uh, let me know. I'm not going to be, you know, playing through this or anything like that. Uh, I'm just going to be doing my own little thing. Who's this guy? Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyway, so let me know what you think if you're going to be picking this game up, if you picked it up, have you been enjoying it, you know, all that kind of good stuff, and leave me a comment below, and I will see you next time.